Hello, welcome to Market Current Affairs. I'm Andrew Sachs McLeod from LeapRate, and today I'm joined in the studio by Fadi Jabba, Vice President of Business Development at CPattern. Now, Fadi has 10 years worth of experience in the forex industry, and today we're going to talk about automated customer retention. Hello, Fadi, nice to see you. Thank you for inviting me. My pleasure. Now, certainly, this is a, a particular point of interest in what CPattern offers is a particularly interesting and very useful uh, system that most forex brokerages need because the cost of retention is very high now, certainly the cost of acquisition is high, so it's really important to maintain and retain existing customers. So it would be very interesting to find out what C Pattern's ethos and how the system works and how retail forex brokers can really benefit from using this service. Uh, I, C Pattern is, was uh, um, created to help brokers to make to automate the retention process and by that to save money uh, to save time and to let the human uh, retention to concentrate in uh, in uh, one thing and not with few things at the same mm -hmm. time uh, what we offer uh, is a unique service that in the end of the day we are showing results and in some cases we are even doubling the volume of the traders and, uh, of course, uh, reducing costs uh, of uh, human resource and admin work. Right. And, and it can, can it streamline the leads in the system? So it works out specific uh, relevance of the leads, it works out how, how uh, more likely the customer, how active the client is, things like that. Of course. It, uh, sometimes that the client can be active, but much, much less he used to be. Right. How do you respond to that in real time? Uh, we will notify the retention person that, uh, watch out, the... the the retention person is uh, active, but much less than he used to be. Yes, and I'd say that it seems to, at the moment that one of the major costs in marketing nowadays for most retail companies is the cost of actual client acquisitions, about yeah. eight or nine hundred dollars per new new client, it's exactly first time deposit. Mm -hmm. So the retention cost without a retention tool is equal equal value, very expensive like that, or or, or, or less. It's actually funny, a few days back, last week, in the end of the last week, I met a company owner and he told me, listen, Fadi, you know what, I can bring you now 5,000 FTDs. Right. It's easy. I just need to use my marketing and I'll bring them in. But without good retention, I'm, I, will, I will end up losing money. Yes, after, after three months, they might start tailing off and that's that. And uh, we can see cases uh, that you have the same uh, trader in company A and he's trading with company B while in, the bo in both uh, sides he deposited the first uh, time deposit is the same but uh, in one company he de deposited much more and traded much more while in the other company he didn't uh, reach that uh, uh, you know maximization right. uh, of, uh, of uh, what he can trade I see and uh, you, you ask yourself how the hell it happened yeah, it makes sense. So it's a game of retention at the end of the day. It is, and I think that there's a, certainly a now starting to be a subdivision of companies that provide retention tools. Yes. How does uh, CPattern position itself according to its competitors such as Optimove and companies like that, which are new companies that have recently come up? Uh, Optimove is not a competition. Right. <laughs> it's not competition, not because uh, they are a very good company and they are doing a great marketing automation. We do uh, retention automation in the trading platform mm -hmm. and in the back end. Yes. While they are dealing more with retention with emails, and I think our the both services of Optimove and CPattern can uh, can be a good bundle. Right. So a brokerage could onboard both and use them. Absolutely. One yes. for the marketing side of the business, and the other for the actual interaction with the client through the trading right. platform. I and, see. And yes, we do have uh, the same. In some cases, we share the same clients. Right. Very interesting. I actually like when somebody have both. So right. in that case, he saves money and time for uh, marketing and retention. Yes, makes sense. I think there are some interesting ways of doing it. Everyone, last week, uh, I was in China last week, mm -hmm. and I spoke to many uh, introducing brokers there who also have the same issue. They also have to retain two things. They have to retain their sub-IBs and their clients so they can keep the order flow going to the brokerage they deal with. So I found that the cost of, of that is even high even further down the chain is, is also high. So this contributes to the actual end 
any acquisition retention costs to the brokerage because the brokerage has to pay commissions and has to pay IBs and has to pay sub IB okay. and so forth. So this is becoming a thing. But you have a chain like that, and then there are some companies, and I know we keep talking about this because it is a unique model, but Plus 500, which has no sales team, and it's all done digital marketing, they managed to get their retention costs down and on board 33,000 more clients in the last in the first quarter of the year than the last quarter, yes. and did it without any uh, sales team. So I think that there are two effective ways of doing it. That clearly showed that the, this is, is is a very efficient and uh, human not not human resource hungry way of doing things. But for a traditional sales team, which has sales and retention and IBs and a various a sales funnel. Uh, would you agree that something, a, a retention tool, investment retention tool like that to keep this funnel going is essential to today's business and without it it's too expensive? Well, first of all, uh, Plus 500 is, uh, is a great model and they are a company that achieved a lot mm -hmm. with only retention yes. automation. Automation, yes, indeed. And uh, we are not trying to make the broker Plus 500, we are trying to make the broker make uh, uh, progress so he will uh, have the will not fire his uh, cl uh, his retention uh, clients. This is, uh, I'm sorry, retention uh, representative. This mm -hmm. is not our goal. Our goal is to make the maximum with the current staff. Yes. And uh, Plus 500 is, is a very extreme case. It is indeed. Retention automation. We are trying to make human uh, 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 human uh, retention being compl uh, complemented by a machine. Right. Right, makes sense. And as a result, you can, the results that you can expect, let's say you're a medium-sized mm -hmm. uh, retail forex brokerage, yeah. for example, some of the Cypress companies, okay. um, the, what, are the, what are the figures that you can expect? If you, if you, let's say you've got 50, 50 sales, a combination of sales and retention, 50 people, okay. and they're onboarding, say, 2 million worth of deposits per month. It's okay. so a relatively medium-sized yes. brokerage. Um, what kind of retention cost reduction can a company like that expect? Uh, it's, uh, we, our model works that, uh, first of all, we are maximizing the volume, and uh, I will explain that. Uh, we are benchmarking the, the system, so mm -hmm. we will have a control group, and we will show the the broker at the end of the day, what is the average uh, volume here and what is the average volume in the test group. And right. that's how we show you the uplift. I see. And the other end also you need to reduce costs. I can uh, think about many cases uh, of uh, admin work we do instead of the retention and the compliance team. So we save you telephones, we save you working times on trying to, for instance, bring in documents we can ask automatically the documents from the trader who didn't upload documents. Right, I Think see. Think about how many hours. Well, that saves a saying. lot of a lot of administrative uh, matters, that's for sure. It will keep the retention team focusing on the retention instead of having mm -hmm. to be balked by, by exactly. administrative matters. Because generally speaking, this is very valid because if you're doing a retention and the customer has got this ready to deposit for the second time, and they say, oh, hold on, the, d the documents are not there, and so forth. He will actually probably go away from the computer, and then it will go cold, and then that will be the end of that. Yeah. So it's, uh, that, that's actually quite relevant indeed, very interesting indeed. Another uh, thing is that we are uh, communicating, uh, or helping also the retention to communicate with the trader while he is online. Right. So sometimes right, right. The, 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 they are in a cold, cold mood, and uh, no, we are telling him he's trading right now. Yes. And he is active right now. And there is something that uh, needs your attention right now, in the real time. You will call him and you respond to that uh, uh, issue. That, while trade. that probably Not has. While driving. Right. Well, that's the thing. That probably has the most impact because online. Online real-time, uh, this is why a lot of companies are going on the mobile route, on time, online real-time engagement is, is, is the best possible way of getting a customer, surely. Exactly. You know, once they're offline, they'll say, I think about it, and then they, it goes cold, and then they might have so many different brokerage op options, which are all very similar. They'll forget which brokerage it was, and then go on to a different one. Yes, and many of the calls and uh, the at calls attempts are going uh, through a cold, uh, call uh, uh, mode. You don't know if it's the right time to call them or not. Yes. And we do help you with that. Yeah, that makes perfect sense. Well, thank you very much for explaining that. Buddy. That's, that's excellent, uh, excellent indeed, very interesting. Certainly, uh, in a time where this is critical, it's an important service, that's for sure. So thank you for joining us today. Thank you so much. Thank you nice very much. Nice to see you. Me. Fadi Jabba, Vice President of Business Development at C Pattern. I'm Andrew Sachs-McLeod from Leaprate. 
Thank you for watching Market Current Affairs. See you next week. Goodbye. Thank you.